Here are my first impressions on the Air Jordan 4 RM Nigel Sylvester driveway gray. Of course, I had to bring out the OG Nigel Jordan collaboration for this unboxing. We have the Bike Air box with the driveway print on the bottom. Shout out to Nigel Sylvester's grandma who inspired this entire collection. Um, really cool. When you open up the box on the inside, you have Nigel's Go logo that I missed out, but then you go same logo here on the stickers, come with a pack. Really cool. I love when they do this extra stuff, especially when you think about BMX culture and adding stickers to your bike. Then you get the Nigel childhood photo on the bike. Just awesome. Great storytelling all around here. Here we have the Air Jordan 4 RM, aka the Air Jordan 4 Low. Um, the RM stands for Remix officially, but also Resto Mod. I think they they played around with that name and landed on Remix. But just, uh, again, a takedown of the Air Jordan 4 led by Nigel Sylvester. First impression is just great materials all around. You can see that suede. Really, really nice. My cat wanted to take a look at it. I mean, who doesn't? This is one of the most highly anticipated releases of the summer. The green one was awesome. This one I like even better. It's more of a black than a gray. I can see why they went with the driveway gray story, but I really like it. It's kind of similar to uh, the Cause 4, but kind of that charcoal ashy gray. On the tongue, you have Bike Air by Jordan embroidered on the tongue which is nice the tongue is really thick and padded you also have nigel sylvester's name on the sock liner on the hill of course you got the bike air that everyone's been going crazy for and a kind of a takedown of the air jordan 4 hill tab you got the air jordan 4 classic midsole outsole the tongue has a nice canvas padded material there which is great again when you're talking about a performance bmx shoe you're going to want that extra padding so it's dope to see that it is a bmx shoe in practice as well as inspiration but everybody wants to know how does this stack up to an actual air jordan 4 um and you know is it is it truly a jordan 4 takedown or is that um something that they just made up so here's going to be a side-by-side -side comparison you can see the jordan 4 is definitely a little chunkier but the height significantly higher it's not going to be this as dramatic of a difference as let's say air jordan one high and air jordan one low but it's definitely higher they both have that hill tab it just feels like air jordan 4 dna it's like one of those things where you can look at if you weren't a sneakerhead and you can see the details and say hey yeah those two things look connected which you sometimes get in a way that's overdone with remix or fusion type shoes and in this way it's just it's just really special if you had told me that these this was an og from back in the day that never saw this light of day i would believe you of course you got the mini swoosh on the toe just like the air jordan one a nod to both that shoe and of course just nike sb designs i like that they haven't overdone that on shoes they've done it on a couple the next thing is the tpu this is right off the back it hit me this is the same kind of rubbery material as the nike sb4 the pine green version which is cool i haven't heard anyone mention that but it's not as plasticky as the standard aj4 which is nice of course when you're talking about a performance shoe you're going to want to be a little bit more flexible a little bit less stiff so that's a really cool detail and here is just a close-up of the shoe it's just again a beautiful shoe beautiful materials great storytelling 10 out of 10.